Welcome, I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we're going to do another Bible study resource help thing. So this is the New Strong's Extended Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, Red Letter Edition, has the Hebrew and Greek dictionaries, uh, 600 pages, Every Word of the Bible Index. Um, this was made by John James Strong. It also has the Best of Vines dictionary of the old and new testament it is a big book i think it's like eight and a half by like eleven and a half or something it is a chunker um but i think um for bible study if you are not one to do like digital um like the blue letter bible that i show how to use i think this is great um it's the only edition of strong's concordance that includes the vines complete Dictionary of the Old and New has Hebrew and Greek dictionaries, um, has three times more study information, words of Christ in red, complete topical index, additional cross references to s standard Bible dictionaries and lexicons, um, and all that jazz. Um, it also has some extras in the back. Um, so this is the 2000, wait, which one is this one? It is 2010 edition by Thomas Nelson. Um, so it has the main concordance, A through Z, and then it has the Greek and the Hebrew. And it also um, has the appendix of the articles, conjunctions, and prepositions. It also has how to read the Hebrew and the Greek, um, what you would look through. So to do this, um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So you pick a verse or a word in a verse that you want to study. So let's do Romans 12.1 and let's look at beseech. So you go to the B's in the main concordance area and you find beseech. Once you do that, and come to it here. Okay, so once you do that, you go to the right of it and it tells you where it's located. So these first ones are in the Old Testament. So you flip to the next page and you go down until you find the one that's in Romans 12. And then you look next to that and that is the Strong's number. Since we are in the Greek, which is the New Testament, we're going to go look for that number in the Greek section. And the number is 3870. So you look for that number, 3870. And then you're going to find it under the Greek, 3870. So when I write it down, I put G for Greek and then 3870. Then you have um, some of the Greek things right there. And then you have how many times it was translated in the King James, 109. You have two, two other Greek uh, Strong's numbers, which is what this word is from, 3844 and 2564. And you can go look those up. And then it kind of gives you like a brief definition to call near, invite, invoke. And then it goes into how many times that word was translated in different words. So, beseech 43 times, comfort 23, exhort 21 times, desire 8 times, blah, 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 blah. And then it also gives you um, kind of like a little uh, definition. Um, so, yeah, you can dig even deeper um, going to the other words that it was um, made and it goes all the way over. So then as you turn towards the back of that, so this is how you use it. And I'm going to show you what else is in this. So there is a complete topical index from A to Z. And then you come to some other study helps in this, which I didn't know they had these in here um, when I bought it. So I thought that was really cool. You have the harmony of the gospels. So that's really cool. Uh, you have teachings and illustrations of Christ, so that's cool. Parables of Jesus Christ, prophecies, and miracles of Jesus. Um, you can so you can see the prophecy in the old and fulfilled in the new. So that's really cool. I think that'd be a really cool study to do. The laws of the Bible, that's pretty cool. 
and that's a couple of pages. Uh, prayers, Old Testament, chronologically, and then prayers of the Bible. Jewish calendar, Jewish feasts, monies, and weight. New Testament monies, measurements, links, dry measurements, liquid measurements, and that's the end. So I think this is a great option, especially like I use the Blue Letter Bible app a lot, but I know that some people want physical things and I wanted a physical book too. That's why I bought this. So I think this is a great study help if you are digging deeper and if you are verse mapping and you want to get into the Greek and the Hebrew, this is a must have. So I'll leave a link on where I bought it from. I bought it from Amazon. So I'll have a link in the description for it. If you're interested, I think this is one of the best study helps that is out there for digging deeper into words, topical. I mean, there's so many different things that this can help with really going into the Greek and the Hebrew. Um, so yeah, link will be in the description if you're interested off Amazon. So yeah, I hope this uh, helps and encourages and inspires you to dig deeper into God's word. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, God loves you and he is always with you. Bye.